Here's the facts about the chromate equilibrium lab, where you start with yellow colored chromate ions in an aqueous solution. And as you add acid or protons or H plus ions, the equilibrium shifts to the right, making dichromate, which is more of an orange color. The idea is that your solution is going to be at equilibrium when you start anyways. It'll be heavily favored one side or the other, depending on what you put in your initial mixture. But each time you add acid or add base or add extra barium, you're going to cause a change in the equilibrium. Le Chatelier's principle says that when a system at equilibrium is disturbed, it will react to partially offset the change. So when you add acid, or H plus ions, you're adding a reactant. How can you partially undo that? How can you use some of that up? Well, the answer is you can have a few more of the forward reactions happening. You will end up shifting the equilibrium slightly to the right because you're adding a reactant. And that means that the color should appear more orange. Now you can also say less yellow, but yellow is not really a dominant color. I think you're going to see the appearance of orange more so than the disappearance of yellow. Likewise, adding NaOH is going to have the effect of taking away H pluses. Bases and acids react together to neutralize. The OH and the H will react together to make water. How are you going to replace the H pluses that just got used up when you added the base? Well, you can replace them by pushing this reaction a little bit to the left. It shouldn't be a surprise that adding acid and base cause opposite reactions here. And again, I'm gonna say it's less orange, mostly because more yellow is gonna to be tough to see. The last and trickiest is adding barium ions. You'll almost certainly have to add barium nitrate. It's one of the few barium compounds that's actually soluble. And the Ba plus two ions inside of those will react with the CrO4 minus to make BaCrO4 solid. So the effect of adding barium is that this, the actual ion that is yellow, is being taken out of solution and put into a solid precipitate. Barium does not precipitate with dichromate. That's why it's interesting for us to do. So adding barium takes away CrO4. How are you going to replace the missing CrO4? Push the reaction slightly to the left, switch the, or push the equilibrium to the reactant side, and again, it'll appear less orange because you will have decreased the amount of Cr207. Some of that had to sacrifice itself to replace the missing CrO4. Now, I realize we're taking away CrO4 in this precipitation reaction, but then we're going to reform some of it. You still won't get to the same level of yellow that you would have had before. Le Chatelier's principle says you offset the change partially. You're never going to get more CrO4 back out than you had removed with the precipitation reaction. But what matters is that some of this reacted away looks less orange. Cool! As long as you know what the balanced chemical equation is, you should be able to use Le Chatelier's principle to predict the effect of any disturbance to that equilibrium. I just did it for you. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.